Hello everyone and welcome to my corner of the world. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a, a gift card holder and it opens up like this, a little pocket for your gift card here, but then it has a little extra surprise in that it has three little Hershey bars, little chocolate bars. It won't come out now, but I've got some, some others here. And these are the ones that uh, come in a packet of 12 available here in the US and um, I'm just going to share with you how you can make this as a lovely presentation for any gift cards that you may be given this year. So we're going to start off with a piece of cardstock and it is some weird, um, well some weird measurement really in as much as the long side is cut at nine and three eighths, and then this short side is cut at four and seven eighths. But if you have a a, a stamping up um, cutting tool, you'll find it really easy to to make those um, eight one eighth cuts along there. So then we're going to score, and on the short side, this is what I mean by the short side. We're going to score at three eighths three quarters and one uh, uh sorry and four and a half along there and then along the long side we're gonna score at three eighths uh three and one eighth three and a half four and a quarter and five sorry and six and five eighths so there's our there's our score marks like like that so I will have a PDF on my blog which will give you um, all the all the details uh, that you need and there's a link to my blog below this um, video so then what we're going to do is we're going to do some cutting and the best way I can find can suggest is is that the side with the the two score lines that's going to be your top and so if you keep that at the top you will um, be in the right um, in the right direction so I'm going to turn it to the side for a moment and I'm going to cut trim off the first length um, on along the score line right to the point where I get to the score line that is um, here you can just see there's hopefully you can see that there's a score line there and a score line there so that's our first cut and we're going to get rid of that all together um, and then I'm going to lose this tiny little square at the bottom and then you should see here that there's two little squares and I'm going to lose those as well okay so if you can if you see now um, this is going to be the little flap that tucks into the box and then this is the this is the box itself and then this is the little flap that will hold the gift card okay so the next thing I'm going to lose is this piece here so I am just turn to, uh, cutting it to the first um, score line here like that and let's tidy that up a tiny bit and then I've got some little tabs so I'm just going to cut those like that and these pieces are going to form the bottom of the box and just to um, make it easier to assemble I'm going to just snip the corners off of that tab, snip the corners from this tab, and then snip the corners from this tab. And that just helps put the box, makes the box go well together. And then I'm going to now um, take this um, 
this piece here I'm going to trim that to that score line and I'm going to remove that piece altogether like that then I'm going to cut the down to the score line there and on there and I'm going to remove that piece altogether so I'm left with these tabs and then I have this tab here and I'm going to just tidy that up a little bit and so I'm going to do the same with these little tabs, just cut the, the, the edges off slightly, just to give me a good finish. And then on this, this is, this is the side, there's the two score lines here. We're just going to cut a little corner from the edge to the first score line. Hopefully you can just see that there and there. So that's all our cutting and so you can see that this is the side of the box that's got the tab that's going to fold in and then um, this is going to be the bottom of the box and then this is your piece that will hold the gift card. So before I go any further I'm going to take this middle section and I'm just going to cut a tiny little um, piece out. This is going to be my finger hole like that and now using a bone folder I'm going to put in all my folds so by using a bone folder it gives me nice crisp folds and I've said on many of my videos before good folds um, are the secret for me to making a good box so these are all my little tabs going in there and then this one is my box and I'm going to fold the little piece over like that and then I'm going to put my big folds in and when I've got my folds in I am sure that this will make far more sense where we're going with this so So hopefully this will now, you'll see that this will go like this. This is going to fold up and then this is your bit that's going to go down to hold the candy bars in and this is the bottom of the box here. All right, so we're going to start and I like to use my liquid glue for this. Um, it does take a few moments for it to uh, set. Um, but I find it gives me some wiggle room. I'm just going to position this, move this up like that so that I can line up the fold. I've just folded that piece under and I'm just lining up that fold with that score line and pressing firmly until it sets. Now this box was designed by my friend Ellie from the UK from, uh, and she's elementary paper crafting. She came over to visit me in October and um, I wanted to do a gift card holder with a treat. So we went out and found some chocolate bars and then she took those chocolate bars and a, a gift card and she created this box for me, which I'm really thrilled with. Okay, so while that sets for a few moments, we're gonna talk about the decoration. So um, the Merry Christmas. Um, I have stamped that with the shaded spruce ink using the mistletoe season uh, here. And then that's been punched out by the with the pretty label punch. And I've then uh, cut a piece of red, um, real red out in the same color. And I'm just going to snip that in half like that. And I'm going to put a little liquid glue on each side like this and I'm just going to attach this so it's it's peeking out from the back 
like that and gives me a bit of a border. It just looks pretty is all. Now you're going to have a gap at the back, of course you're going to have a gap, but because it's going to be down on your box, oop, let's get that pressed firmly, because it's going to be down on your box, nobody's going to be any the wiser. And I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals on the back. And I'm also going to add a couple of um, pearls. I'm going to use these um, metallic pearls. I'm going to use the silver ones and I'm going to use my pick your tool. A little bit of putty on the end there and it will allow me to pick up my um, pearls really easily. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, so we've got that there. And I've also made myself a little bow and that's using the silver and white twine. You can see I've given it, given it a really um, hard bashing. That's all I've got left. I have 25 yards, I think it is, but I've made a little bow. And then my um, piece that I'm going to put inside, this is the bit that you're going to write on. Again, I've just stamped it with the Celebrate the Season uh, from the Mistletoe Season um, stamp set. Um, and I think just going to check that my pieces are stuck together now. I have had a little malfunction. Ooh, well, okay, so I'm going to just work um, um, away to show you how uh, I can put this right. So this is a tiny weeny bit on the wide side. Too much cardstock, I think, for the little gap. So I'm just going to trim a tiny piece off and put some more tape, a more um, adhesive on there. So I like to show you warts and all with my videos because it doesn't always go perfectly. So while I've got that setting there, I'm going to stick down the little piece that I'm going to write on. There. Make sure it's the right way up. And the measurements for these pieces will all be um, on my blog post. So as I say, just follow the link at the bottom there. I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to use a piece of designer series paper. I'm going to use the back side. If you look, this is my original and this is the back side. So I'm going to do something slightly different and use the back side this time. I'm just going to adhere that down there. Like that. And then I have a strip um, that is going to hold the gift card. So it's going to go here and it needs to be adhered on just three sides. And I'm just going to, because this is quite a snug fit on the, um, for the gift card. I'm just going to make sure my adhesive is right on the edge all the way on, well, on the three sides. So it's it's the two short sides plus um, the the side along the bottom. And I've, it's just going to trim a little bit of this off. I always find it's better to cut on the long side. It's easier to trim off than to stretch it out. So there we go with that one. And we're going to let that set for a few moments. And I think my box, yes, my box is now beautifully um, uh, set. So here I'm going to push my two tabs down inside. And then I want my... my um, my raw edge to be to the back so I'm going to tuck that to the back and put a little bit of 
adhesive down and again that will take a few moments and while that does that we're going to put the candy bars in side as I say it holds three which is a very generous amount of goodies Uh, they are it is a snug fit but you don't want them rattling around like that and finally the third one and then we're just going to tuck the piece inside so that's what we've got at the at the back and then our final piece is to attach the greeting I'm going to set this one at a jaunty angle. I have my little bow already done, so I'm going to use a, a glue dot to attach that. Like that. Use my little piercing tool and pick that up. There we go and i did have a gift card somewhere around here but it's escaped nope can't find it but then you would just tuck your oh look there it is <laughs> i knew it would be somewhere so you're just going to gently ease that in the the adhesive is probably a weeny bit too liquid at the moment oh no i think it's going to um behave itself it's just going to go in and I just want it to go in. I'm being really gentle because I don't really want this to pop off. There you go. So your gift card will go in like that. And there you have a really cute little um, gift card holder with a little surprise of candy in there. I hope you've enjoyed this project. I look forward to uh, seeing you next time. Thank you for your time and bye for now.